once again, Excellencies, Ministers, Ladies and Gentlemen, as you know, Republic of Palau is hosting the first ever special meeting of the small island states. Yesterday and today, they were meeting at the capital, and this evening, we are having a reception hosted by His Excellency President Ma Sao and the Vice Minister of the Republic of China, Taiwan. The procedure this evening is they will uh, have an opportunity to say a few words and then they will sign the SIS strategy, which is the purpose of this meeting, special meeting in Palau. They worked very hard yesterday with the staff, we commend them, and the leaders are here. So. Uh, you can see the Secretary General, Mick Taylor, and then of course from uh, Cook, Kiribati, Palau, uh, Marshals, uh, uh, Tuvalu, and uh, Nauru. And so, without further ado, Mr. President, the Chairman of uh, the meeting, uh, please uh, commence the ceremony. Uh, good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming. Uh, tonight, uh, in the presence of our national elected leaders and our state leaders, uh, the Chief Justice, and uh, one of our important uh, uh, development partner, the Republic of China, uh, in the presence, of course, of our traditional uh, leaders, I'm very happy to announce to, to all that uh, we have certainly earned our pay in a, yesterday and today. And so we do have a, a document that everyone has uh, graciously and patiently um, uh, discussed and, and committed ourselves to in the last two days, um, culminating in this uh, strategy patient, uh, position paper. I want to, of course, uh, extend our gratitude to the members of the SIS, Small Island States, and of course to Secretary General uh, Meg Taylor and her staff for uh, assisting all of us in getting this very important uh, document ready. Just a small uh, <coughs> thing about this, uh, the, the significance of tonight's uh, strategy. Um, we know that uh, throughout the Pacific, uh, we share common challenges and obstacles. Uh, and so we have the Pacific Island Forum, which is the umbrella association for everyone here in the Pacific. However, within the Pacific Island Forum, we also recognize the fact that there are small island states that are most vulnerable and most challenged by all the challenges that all of us are facing. And so it is in the smallness of uh, the reality, it is in the smallness of our resources that we need to do a regional cooperation, a regional collaboration, and many of the answers to these challenges. And so tonight, we of course have identified that uh, in the area of uh, uh, climate change and global warming in the area of the ocean, the uh, marine and the coral reef, in the area of labor, mobility, in the area of uh, health, in the area of uh, uh, transport, sea, uh, air and sea transport, um, five, there's five areas. Yes, I've named all of them. But these are the, uh, the priority areas uh, that uh, we seek uh, partnerships on, we seek uh, collaboration on, and uh, we seek new opportunities. And so we are very happy that uh, uh, the fact is no, no island is an island uh, that we really have to come together as uh, fellow Pacific Islanders to get our agenda to be noticed, to be appreciated, 
and to be advanced not only in the forum family but also in the uh, international partnership arena. So with this uh, said, I also would like to uh, ask uh, my fellow leaders to say uh, a few words before we uh, all sign this uh, and express their uh, reasons for uh, the strategy tonight. So I'll begin with the uh, Republic of the Marshall Islands. Thank you, Thank you President. Um, before I say a few words, I'd like to recognize uh, elected leaders, traditional leaders of Palau, uh, Vice Minister from uh, ROC, and other uh, distinguished leaders here this uh, evening. Um, I echo uh, everything that has been said by the uh, President, um, Excellency uh, Rani Nisau. Uh, I think it's about time that um, the SIAs come together and have a strategy. And it's, it's been something that has been in the works, and uh, now that it's complete, it's providing, will be for providing a roadmap for the small island states to move forward within the uh, uh, organization of uh, the Civil Island Forum. So I'm very grateful and uh, thankful for the opportunity to be part of this uh, last part of the strategy development and to be able to sign with uh, other leaders of SIS this evening. So I join uh, President Ramadizal in thanking uh, 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 Secretary General and our staff and everyone else who have uh, contributed to the progress of this, uh, of this document. We look forward to uh, working with uh, everyone and as the President said, we're looking for partners to push this uh, agenda forward. It's a nice strategy, but without support and partnership, we will not be able to move it forward. So we look forward to hold hands with some of the partners in the room and others uh, that we will be seeking uh, assistance from in the, in the days ahead. So once again, thank you all for uh, coming in tonight and uh, witness the uh, accomplishment of the small island states. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Heidi, and uh, again, a uh, few words from the President of Kiribati. Uh, thank you, Mr. <coughs> President. And, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, I understand there are also distinguished uh, guests from the local dignitaries and uh, folks who are here, including the, uh, the Secretary General from the Foreign Secretary and uh, my colleagues here. <clears throat> and I'll try and say a few words on behalf of the people of Kiribati and, and the government of Kiribati. Uh, I'm pleased to say how, I, how happy am I to, to be part of this historical and uh, great achievement. Uh, certainly the dreams of those who have initiated this, uh, <clears throat> this strategy, the SIA strategy, uh, has now come to a realization and a fulfillment and uh, that, that was a great step forward, especially for the small island state to come up with this, this strategy that will guide and pave the way forward, especially in those key result areas that the president has mentioned. So <clears throat> without uh, going further, I, I also acknowledge the, the effort and the input by the SG Secretary General of the Forum Secretary to their the hardworking uh, staff together with our officials from our respective uh, SIS countries. So those few words, uh, this is my first time to visit your beautiful country. So I'm really happy to, to be here as well. And uh, well, as I understand, uh, election is on the way. So <laughs> I would like to, to, to wish all the best to the, uh, your presidents. President Ramanasa, and for all those who, who are aspiring towards these uh, leadership roles. Thank you very much. Kamdaba, Dimitri, Teroy, Abitabemo, which means good health, peace, and prosperity. Thank you.
Thank you, uh, President of Kiribati, and of course, uh, uh, as uh, he just he's won his election, so he's in the back, and he can afford to wish everyone uh, good luck now. Uh, if we can hear from our brother from uh, Tuvalu. Thank you very much, uh, New York State Street, um, President uh, Wendy Sao. Yes, on, on behalf of our uh, delegation from Tuvalu, we are quite happy to be part of the uh, SIS and especially the strategy that we have worked on, which we are going to sign today. The government of Tuvalu uh, endorses the strategy and we hope that we have uh, development partners to work with and hopefully for the sake of all of us, the small island states, we will be able to do bigger things for us in the future. And thank you for the opportunity. And uh, if we may hear uh, from our colleague from uh, Nauru. Thank you, President. Uh, also, Nauru is very happy to be part of uh, ASI's strategic plan. And uh, we know it will uh, bring great benefits to our people. And uh, we've been working on this strategic plan for a while now through consultations with our people to ensure that we identify those priorities that are most important to our people. Um, but I just want to thank uh, President Raymond Nassau and, and the people of Palau for the, for the uh, arrangements and for, for the kind uh, 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 looking after for our delegation from now. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Your Excellency. Kia ora, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as an official, really, this stage is just a relief. When you're appointed a special envoy by your Prime Minister, it's a bit of a burden. Um, but if I can congratulate Palau for uh, hosting uh, a wonderful meeting. Um, as, and, um, as we reach this point, I think it's it's useful to reflect on the beginnings of the SIS and, and I think our, our fathers of regionalism, um, Ratsumara, uh, Samari, our own Sir Jeffrey Henry, I think they would be quite pleased with where we are today. But of course, perhaps this is the easy part that we've achieved now in terms of having the plan. Now the work starts. And, uh, and I do encourage um, all of us, particularly our leadership, um, this plan really is is in the hands of our leaders and uh, and we're very encouraged um, by the commitment that was demonstrated in the last two uh, days of discussions and absolutely to our partners we look forward to working very closely with you in bringing to fruition the very valid aspirations of our small countries and our people. Thank you, Madam Herman, uh, Islands. And of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this strategy or this agenda would not be promoted, communicated, or expressed to the region and to the international community without the, um, uh, the strong support and assistance of the Secretary General. So if I may ask now the Secretary General, um, Dame uh, Taylor, to also uh, close these uh, uh, remarks. Your Excellencies, Honorable Chief Justice, thank you, leaders. Uh, let me say that on um, behalf of the uh, Secretariat, that um, we welcome the clarity and the decisiveness of the decisions and directions that have been given to us by the leaders of the small island states, and uh, we stand ready to help with the implementation. Thank you. Excellencies, we will sign the uh, commencing of the document now. And later on, we just allow a few questions from the media. They've been waiting for this time for them. So please commence the signing. Allow by His Excellency Pedro Masao. Thank you. 
Marshals, Your Excellency, President Hilda Aini. Public of Kiribati. President, His Excellency, Daneti, Mama. Mr. Foreign Affairs and Trade, Tourism and Environment and Labor, Nick Casso of Kelina. Signing for uh, Cook Islands. which one of them is climate change. We know that Prime Minister has um, addressed the United Nations to recognize uh, climate refugees. Is this one uh, issue that has been brought up during the SIS meeting and is it going to be supported by all the other nations within the group? Thank you. Thank you very much for the question. The issue of uh, climate refugees has not been included in the uh, strategy that we have decided on. So the uh, taking on the issue of climate change as a uh, whole in itself, but not in relation to um, refugees, climate refugees. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Um, 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 my name is Rolinda Jonathan. I'm the news anchor at Port Portal TV, the last local television station. Um, my question to me is in relation to one of the points of climate change um, in the plan. Each of the countries um, that comprises of the SIS um, block have very unique, some of the new unique climate change impacts. Um, how are you able, as a group, come together to fill this agreement with the where? each nation are able to address the implications of climate change as well as the regional level. So I think uh, uh, so far the questions are best addressed by the community because we do have a, a plan of action in each of the issues that uh, we signed on. But just quickly, again, what the common bond between all of us are that uh, the challenges are are similar and very common and so the answers the required answers will also be very similar and very common so what is good for cook islands will be good for palau marshall islands and, and for the rest of us and, and that's the framework of this uh, uh, re regional goals of the sis is that what's good for one is good for for everybody and so as a region we're going to we we'll get more attention, we're going to be more focused on the opportunities that are out there, uh, either through the international partners or through regional partners or through our respective uh, SIS relationship and efforts. Okay? 
one more and then you can... Yes, um, uh, my name is Leilani and I'm with Ivan Times, so hello. Um, I have a question with relation to the, the five focus points. Uh, one of those uh, areas is in the airline uh, and shipping transportation. I understand at the initial meeting that the ADB was saying it's going to be willing to work with SIS state on that. Is there any particular um, uh, air, uh, issue that was discussed that may be able to start working on in, in terms of, uh, especially with the airline, uh, airline uh, in other smaller island countries? Uh, is, there, is there any discussion uh, in this meeting to look into a specific solution? To that? <laughs> Thank you for the, the question, which is very relevant. <laughs> uh, well, in, uh, in the case of the airline, airline services issue, and the yeah, Kiribati, uh, unlike other smaller countries, because of their isolation, uh, so we require a more efficient. A system of a, or system of a, making sure that the, the airlines, uh, especially those that have, uh, haven't got their line, uh, aircraft of their own, uh, their needs and the problems are taken care of by, by this small of our partners and particularly the at the regional level. And I, as I understand, the secretary has taken note of. <coughs> In addition, with the uh, also on the line. Uh, Issue we have a, a, a airspace management issue, and uh, as you might be aware, the Kiribati airspace has been managed by three countries, which is quite unusual. And, uh, and uh, but Kiribati has been getting very little out of the of the management of the, its own uh, airlines uh, airspace, and so we have put up a request uh, if uh, we could. They take more uh, responsibility and more be proactive in, in, in that in that case. So we take the ownership of our own uh, airspace in terms of management. And so the uh, well, it's, I'm also very grateful that the, the the idea and the proposal has been endorsed by the <coughs> SIS group as well as the, the forum secretary to, to assist. In in that, in that so thank you. Okay. Uh, with that, we will conclude this uh, uh, signing ceremony. Uh, I just want to acknowledge uh, the evening's co-host with the Republic of Palau, the Republic of China, Taiwan. So enjoy the evening and thank you for coming together this evening. This, as we mentioned by His Excellency President, this evening's reception is co-hosted by the President of the Republic of Palau and uh, His Excellency Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs, Republic of China. So at this time, I will invite the Vice Minister to come and share a few words before dinner is served. <laughs> Well, thank you, Minister. Uh, President Raymond Gasol, President Haini, Excellencies, uh, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, as a co-host, first of all, let me uh, welcome you all to this dinner party. Uh, after two days' hard work, I would like to say that we all deserve uh, a relaxation. Uh, as uh, President uh, Rebogasau just mentioned, you now uh, we have earned our pay. And I will add to that, we have all earned our right to party. Uh, tonight is Friday, Friday night. So let's party. Thank you very much.